Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're noticing that the angle is a little different, it's because it is. I hung up a mirror in my background so I can see the viewfinder of my phone because I'm still filming with the back cameras because I want to give you detail, as much detail as possible, but I also need to make sure that I'm in frame and in focus. So if you see me looking over this way throughout the video, it's because I'm looking at myself. <laughs> Anyway, um, hi, welcome back. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Connie, and I like to do my makeup. In this video, I'm doing complexion, but if you wanna see the eye tutorial, that's already up on my channel. It's either going to be long form or a short, but it will be up before this video is. And if you're already liking what you're seeing, you might as well give me a big thumbs up and subscribe because it really helps me out and it's free. So in this video, we're doing complexion and I'm going to be using my House Labs foundation and concealer, not sponsored, but I'm really loving these two products because um, I live in mid Michigan and I already have dry skin and the season has officially changed. It's, it's cold now and my skin has dried up and it needs all the moisture it can get. So with these two products, um, it gives me moisture, but it doesn't make me too dewy. However, if you have oily skin, you're probably gonna have more of a, like a dewy effect. Even normal to oily skin, you're gonna have more of a dewy effect than this because this comes out like a satin matte on my skin because I am so dry. But I love how it looks and I'm going through a really bad breakout right now, but I think I covered it up pretty well. I'm rambling. If you guys want to know how I got this complexion, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, getting started. I've already put the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer on my nose and around my cheek area just to fill in my bigger pores. Usually I use the Danessa Myricks Blurring Powder, Blurring Balm, I mean Blurring Balm in the shade Universal, but I ran out, so I'm using my um, e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, and I also used um, a peach color corrector on my face and under my eyes. I have not been sleeping. I've been, my meds are like, I, I'm going between meds right now just to figure out what really works best for me, and then I'm probably going to be adding or subtracting some more meds in the near future, so just everything going on with me right now is just popping up on my face. I haven't broken out this bad since I was pregnant with Lady. <laughs> but um, we move, we move. And I'm going to be using uh, my House Labs products today. So I'm first gonna go in with concealer and then I'm gonna go in with the foundation. I like um, House Labs because of how moisturizing the formula is without feeling heavy. So I'm first gonna go in with the concealer because it is more full coverage than the foundation. I forgot to shake it up. And you might be like, why are you not underpainting today, Connie? Well, I find that with these products, um, putting the cream contour and bronzer on on top of it works better. So I'm just adding some more coverage to my blemishes and around my mustache area, just any place where I don't think the foundation is going to be able to cover by itself. I'm also gonna put some on my nose. All right, time for foundation. I have messed this bottle up royally, so. <laughs> and I don't need a lot. That's actually probably too much, 
but we will see. Now I've said in previous videos that I like how this foundation blends out with a brush. However, the weather is finally changing. We did have some really warm days um, up here in Michigan. It is mid-October when you're seeing this and we are officially in fall because the first week of October we were still in the 80s but it's been raining and the temperature has dropped down to the 60s so my skin is a lot drier than it was a month ago. So I do go in with a wet sponge over this foundation after I've blended it out with the brush. And this is a medium coverage foundation. You can build it up to full, but I like how it is with the medium coverage because you can always add more coverage with your bronzers and contours and setting powders. But even with a brush, it looks really good. But like I said, I'm gonna go in with a wet sponge. Of course, it's warm. You guys already know how I do. And I'm going to really push this into the skin. And if you notice that the angle is different, I wanted to try something new. You guys know I film on my phone. So I just wanted to put it off to the side but angle it toward my face. That way I can see what I look like in the mirror that's in front of my phone. Let me know if you guys um, prefer it the other way. I just want to make sure you can still see everything but I also want to make sure that I'm in frame and focused. No one's going to be surprised with this one. But I'm going in with the Danessa Myricks Groundwork Palette for my contour and bronzer. And I'm going to be using Sculpted as my contour and a mixture of Core and Harvest as my bronzers. Now I have changed up how I do my contour just a little bit. I keep it mainly in the back of my cheeks because now that I'm getting a lot more fair than um, my summer than my summer complexion, I have to make sure that I don't use too many cool tones because my natural neutral um, tone is a lot more prominent. And if I go with too many cool tones, I tend to look very dead. So I don't want that, but I do want that nice natural looking contour. So we just build it up in the back area primarily and then bring it forward just a little bit. Just so it's cupping my cheek. Oh, by the way, thank you so much for the love on my um, sad girl video. Not a lot of people left comments, but um, I got a few thumbs up and I got a um, hundred views. So I'm happy that it wasn't too much of a like, oh, this depressing ass bitch, <laughs> you know? But that's just really what's going on. Um, I don't know if anyone read the description, but um, everything's good. I, well, that's a lie actually. Not everything is good. I, <laughs> like I said, I'm not sleeping. Um, like yesterday or last night, I should say, I called myself going to bed early. I popped a um, NyQuil tablet, one of the um, sleeping tablets from NyQuil. Call my bed. Call myself going to er bed early. Woke up. Like I went to bed at like seven hoping I would sleep until at least three. Nope, I woke up at 10 and I was up from 10 to three in the morning and then I finally fell back to sleep. Like, it's, 
it's rough not sleeping. And then throughout the week, um, like, I sleep, but not really. I haven't had a bad, I haven't had a bad night like that in a while, but having insomnia is, it fucking sucks. Because it just screws up your whole day. Because when I woke up, I, all I wanted to do was sleep again, but I got up, I forced myself to get up because if I stay in bed all day, then it's just going to keep me up all night again tonight. And I, I don't want that. I want, I need to maintain my day schedule. But, um, I went and saw my doctor on Thursday and I told him I wasn't sleeping. So he told me to try Unisom. So Jeff ordered me some of that. And then he also told me when I see my psychiatrist to um, ask about Ambien, if that's something that they think would help. He did warn me though that it could make me sleepwalk, which I don't want to sleepwalk. Ooh, what is that? Ooh, it's a hair. Is that attached to my face? I hope not. No, it's not good. <laughs> like, God damn, that's a big hair. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, he said he told me to ask the psychiatrist about Ambien, but he did warn me that um, one of the potential side effects was um, sleepwalking, which I have never done in my life, and I don't want to start now. He also um, has me going for a sleep study because he's wondering if I have sleep apnea, which, once again, I've never had sleep apnea before, but I have gained a lot of weight in the last couple of years, mainly because of my diet, but also partially because of the antidepressants. I could do better, which by the way, let me drink my water. So if I'm honest with myself, I could be doing better. I'm just not, <laughs> I'm just not very motivated to exist some days, you know what I mean? Like I said, if you uh, watch my sad girl video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, going in with the, oops. So I'm going in with the brush that I use to apply my foundation and I'm just, going around the edges of my contour to soften it. Mm. And now I'm going to go in with the bronzer. So I'm going to use a combination of Harvest and Core and I'm gonna start on the back of my cheeks again and then bring it forward. In the winter, I tend to use a lot of um, <laughs> warm bronzers uh, because like I said, I have a naturally neutral undertone and I don't wanna look dead, so. Once again, Harvest and Core. And this is just very subtle bronzing just to warm up that contour a little bit. What do you guys think of these eyes? I'm loving it. I use the Jackie Ina palette. Um, for these eyes and then that like peacocky green that's from the Danessa Myricks Lightworks 4 palette which I am so excited she announced the Lightworks 5. She also said it was going to be $125 so I'm like I'm gonna have to hold off on that for a minute because that's a lot of money. <laughs> I just um bought the Ensley Rain Harvest Moon collection so I'm like that was expensive, so I gotta, I gotta hold off on the Danessa Myricks thing, but I figure since she's a more mainstream brand, she's not gonna run out of product. So 
I'll just get it later. Putting bronzer on the tip of my nose. You hear lady? All right, so now I'm going to use, um, maybe I'll go in with Desert. I'm gonna try Desert. I can't remember which one works best as my contour. I think I'm gonna go in with Desert, which is this one right here for my nose contour. And uh, let me see, let me get my brush. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of Desert. I'm pretty sure this is the one that shows up. Yes, it is. Very subtle, but it shows up. And once again, I'm only using the pomades out of this out of this palette for right now. Too much. All right, so that's the nose contour for right now. I am going to go down the center with sandstone so that's how I do my nose contour these days it's not super intense like it used to be um, now I'm going to set under my eyes and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Also, because I haven't been sleeping, my skin is just super dry. I mean, on top of the weather change. Um, it's just, it's just super dry. On to bronzer. I've been using the Juvia's Place bronzer in light and I go in with this shade the medium is too dark for me but then like I can only use one of the light shades part of me was going to buy both of them the medium and the light and just use the bottom shade from the light and then the top shade from the medium but I'm just like I can make the light work so let me just let me just try and I'm going in with a glam goth beauty brush like I said, going in with the bottom shade and just going over that bronzer area and then over my nose, a little bit on my chin, and then a little bit on my forehead. And that's literally all I'm doing for that. And instead of using more bronzer, I'm just going to use the Wet n Wild Bare Focused Powder in Medium Tan. This is my summer powder, but since I am super light right now, I use it on my cheeks just to add a little bit more sun kiss to them. And use it on my nose just bringing warmth into the skin lots and lots of warmth now for blush I'm using a Juvia's Place blushing duo and this is not the one I want but this is just one of them <laughs> this is in the volume 5 I think I want an orangey blush so let me get the other one this is in volume 6 yeah, here we go. I want to use these. So I'm going to use this on the back of my cheeks and then I'm going to use this toward the apples. And it's going to be very light because these are very pigmented. Just stippling like that. Going toward the apples. 
And then I'm using the lighter orange to go around my temples. Just so I can tie everything in. For highlight, I'm going to be using my mini nymph powder from Huda, and this is in the shade Flora. I'm putting that right on the cheekbones, and the nose, using my finger for the nose, up the brow. and above the cupid bow. When my lips aren't filled, they are very crooked and it's really hard to um, make them look symmetrical, but here we are. Now, I think I want a little bit of gloss, so I'm going to use the Fenty Heat And here we have the final look. What do you guys think? I am loving it. I love fall makeup because you can be just super bold with your eyes and lips at the same time without looking like a clown because all of the colors are a little bit darker. Um, I also love how the skin turned out, even though I am going through one of the worst breakouts I have in a while. I still think that the complexion products that I chose, they feel light on the skin and they don't look super makeup-y or cakey on my textured areas or my dry skin. And even underneath my eyes, thanks to that color corrector, I look like I have slept more than four hours a night in the last week. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. My lash is driving me crazy. Anyway, um. Yeah, so if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me, share this video because you know sharing is caring, and since you're here, you might as well watch some more videos so that they are popping up right there and right there, right there and right there, right there and right there. Support your girl, okay? Sorry I keep looking in this direction because that's where I can see, um, it's like my viewfinder. So sorry if I keep looking over there. I'm going to look at you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!